some more kind of get it straightened and situated uh, as much as possible and um, we also are going to cut the tunnel that's very important that you get that done um, and we're also going to put in a new well not new but used uh, but modified subframe brace and I'm going to leave a link in the description below of the person who actually did the work and a good friend of mine um, doesn't live too far uh, torrent so I'm gonna um, leave a link with his information uh, down below and definitely check it out so if you're going from automatic to manual and you need this item which I'm pretty sure you do you can uh, contact him and he'll take good care of you so let's dive in and in this video you will see it mounted up completely that pertaining to the subframe all right so let's get to it all right, it's about that time. We have to cut the tunnel. So it's pretty decent uh, over here, but I'm gonna cut upwards up to here, the black cushion, and then cut across, probably using a Dremel. So I need the initial cut to happen from each corner from here. and the same on the other side and go up to this spot right here. So let's get started. All right, and that ought to do it. We're able to reach this bolt now so we can slide that back in. Uh, we gotta clean up the shifter because there's uh, metal fragments on it. Not in it, but on it. So anyway, uh, clean this area up. Um, we're gonna deburr some areas just so while we're installing, we don't lose a finger and we'll take it from there. But that should be all that's needed as far as cutting. So that's good. All right, so it's starting to look like a car. All right, so there's still more sanding and priming and, and shaping and forming, especially right here. So yeah, so there's still some more sanding that needs to happen here. To kind of define this line and then should be in the realm of where it needs to be but it's looking pretty good um they're still sanding as we speak so let's check on that tunnel see what's happening there so now with the transmission jacked up into its proper position just like that and actually let me take it out of gear there we go neutral all right perfect and then that gives us plenty of room to kind of get this transmission where it needs to be, which is right there. All right, so let's take a look under and check out our new transmission mount. So this is what we have for the transmission mount. It has a brace on the bottom, which is equal to the motor mounts placement. So we have a hole here, should have a hole right about here. Should end up to be perfect. All right, so go ahead, Alex. Show the people what you got. I think I gotta make the holes. Now, sure, true, true. Uh, I'm going here and here for the mouth. I gotta take it out again. Oh, okay, so um, this is mocking up. We should be able to get everything in its permanent position and be good. So that's great. Okay, we're kind of all over the place, but this is the piece that was cut out. This piece isn't finished yet, but this is what's going in. Um, we're not going to tackle this whole back panel because it's full of Bondo. So we're afraid to see how bad that is if, um, you know, anything needs to be handled past that point. We'll get her done, but... Um, there's gonna be more welding done back here. This is just to make sure this part is sealed off. So 
Gonna get that nice and clean, undercoated, painted, everything. And then the transmission is actually completely in. Let's take a look. So we have a solid mount here, tranny pan, everything's in the factory location. We got the bracing portion, which looks really good. Looks like a lot's going on. Okay, fully welded. The drive shaft is finally straight and not kinked like it, it was uh, previously. All right, so that is completely in. It's not hanging down. Solid mount there, training pin, everything just looks beautiful. All right. So that looks great. So what we're gonna do now is go up top and uh, see how everything is fitting in the car and take it from there. But um, yeah, we just got a couple of wires to butt up and we'll be good to go. But yep, everything's looking great. Plenty of room for everything with the plate. Again, this was custom made by Torrent. Um, I'll leave a link to his information down in the description below. But everything came out perfect. See? So let's look up top. So the shifter is sitting straight up, which is perfect. There is going to be some trimming that needs to happen here which is fine, not that big of a deal. We can definitely trim it up, get it looking right. Um, just because you wanna make sure that none of this is bumping while you're driving. So we're going to come out this way, cut out this way, and then we should be good to go. Next also, I wanna take a look at the engine and make sure that the engine is straight. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so I don't have a leveler. Oh, sorry about the noise in the background. That is my busted fan. There we go. So, um, I don't have a leveler, but <clears throat> if you look this way, she is 100% straight. Not gonna cause a issue either way, but she is 100% straight, especially with the naked eye, which is very important. And then uh, I'm gonna get a leveler and we're gonna double check it. But just looking at it, looks perfect. Um, yeah, we just gotta tidy up a couple things on the bottom, a couple things on the top, and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, so huge progress. Um, it's all finished weld all the way around, so basically, they're gonna sand this down to um, kind of fix any imperfections. It even has it welded all the way at the bottom. We rebuilt some of the bar that needs it and everything, so that's good to go. Um, we're also gonna get started on the other side and kind of take everything from there. And when it pertains to everything transmission-wise, again, it is complete only thing we have to do now is tuck away some of these wires like the o2 sensor wire there um we do have to connect the reverse light which there is a reverse switch on the manual we just have to wire it in with the reverse light from the automatic wiring which uh hmm we actually should get done soon but um probably going to save that for next episode but anyway um also another line that we need to remove is this metal one right here that's from the or actually no that's a transmission vacuum so that one needs to be pulled off i don't know if you guys can see it let me see there we go 
So that line right there needs to be taken off. We no longer have a uh, automatic transmission to appease. So that's gonna come out perfectly. We're gonna remove that. And then for the body work on the other side, now let me get over there. They put another layer of glaze on it just to ensure that it's uh, nice and smooth. So um, they just laid it down. Um, it's dry, so they're gonna sand that down and uh, get it leveled off properly. So uh, we're going round two on the passenger rear fender. And with that being said, we're gonna call it an episode there. But if this is the type of things you like to watch, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon. But until then, remember, knowledge is power. And I will see you guys next episode.